To some education now and some schools are yet to stabilize a week into the first term of the year after their principals were transferred to other schools. At Cardinal Lotunga Mosocho, the chair of the board of management, has been suspended after he refused to hand over the principal's office keys to the newly posted school head. Meanwhile, school heads are seeking to assure parents that discipline will be upheld despite the introduction of day schooling wings. Sharon Baranga reports. From afar, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. But a storm has been brewing since word came to this school, Cardinal Otunga Mosocho, that the principal was among the over 500 who had been transferred to other schools. The chair of the board of management refused to open the office for the incoming principal, forcing him to conduct his activities outside the school compound for three days. The incoming principal from Mukum Boys High School could not be given the keys to the office. The chair of the school's board of management gave instructions to the school's administration not to allow the new principal access to the office, claiming the school sponsor did not recognize the transfer. Is that I want to warn all other boards of management of other schools in the county who may be tempted to perhaps interfere with the management of the schools that drastic action shall be taken. The former principal of the school, Zachary Nyariki, has already reported to his new workstation at Kimilili Boys High School in Bungoma County. Over 550 teachers have been transferred by the Teachers Service Commission. Meanwhile, at Buruburu Girls High School in Nairobi, an induction meeting for new parents, teachers, and some of their students sought to demystify the day wing project that the school is a part of. Some of the parents had expressed fears that the arrangement could lead to deterioration of discipline. They were worried how they are going to have day scholars and boarders uh, because of the discipline. But we have promised them that we have been trained by the Ministry of Education and we are ready to admit them. This was the choice of my daughter. So when she got to this school, I really felt good. And it's my hope that she's going to do well. I've loved the school. The orientation was very good. I thank the Lord for giving me this school. I hope that it will, be, it will give me a better future. The pioneer class of the day wing will not pay school fee. The government has already paid for them. Uh, uh, 22,000. That will be enough for their tuition, for the, for the chemicals and every other tuition material that they are going to use. They will only pay something small for lunch, nothing else. 19 national and extra county schools in Nairobi have been selected to take part in the program. Sharon Baranga, NTV.